Welcome to the Board Game Snobs Podcast. Critically harsh reviews with a touch of class. Just tell me when. Just tell me when I'm ready to go. Go. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready for this? Dun, You're repeating dun, dun, yourself. Dun, dun, I'm not dun, repeating dun, myself. Yes, you are. This is CNC you, Music Factory. This is how you build up anticipation. You know how often you promote CNC Music Factory when you say, are you ready for this? Is no. that what it is? Have you ever heard that song? I didn't know that. It's a song. What's it say? Are you ready for this? That's a song that comes on every baseball. Gonna make you sweat till you bleed. Baseball, basketball game. Yep. Huh? This was the song that yeah. they played at the beginning of every basketball game yeah. in the 90s. It was yeah. awesome. Back this is the Board 19... Game Snobs Podcast. It is. Welcome. I'm your primary host, Gabby. And this is Jerry. Welcome, Enrique. This is not true. Hi, I'm random. It is true that I am Jerry. And Enrique. That Gabby is not the primary host. You did not host. get it correct. That is, Wait, that's what? okay. We're here today to talk about several different things. Talk about maps. <laughs> what type of maps? We're going to overcut each other. Yes, we're talking about maps because maps are important. Remember back in the day when you had to go on a road trip and you had to look at a map? Yes. Before Magellan. Not Maybe. the person, but the... Uh, did you have the little GPS thing that you stuck on the windshield? Yes. That told uh, you? Yes. I had uh, Tom Tom though. Okay. So we, we had those. No, wait. I didn't have Magellan. You had Magellan? Yes. Question. Did you use the American voice or did you switch it? Uh, the American. You, you didn't switch it? Whatever was standard. I don't no, know. No, you didn't switch voices. No, I didn't switch voices. You didn't switch. Actually, I didn't use the voice. You didn't use Elizabeth? I, didn't use voice. I just look at it. I use Elizabeth. I looked at it and said, oh, okay, I British need to turn guy. left. And when you select the... I wasn't worried about it. Alternative... I don't like them hollering at me. ...language, they change and use terms that are common to their language. That's why Elizabeth, the English-speaking gal, and I say English, not in... Gal. You're our so English, country. but as in British English. The old English, she would say, get on the fairway or get on the bypass and various other things. Terms such as this. Fascinating. That's it was cool. fascinating. Why super are, cool you brought that up. It was Thanks. cool. Why are you why are you hating on me? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just Do you have something interesting? I uh, know. You're the one not going. Off the website. So go. Who you're is the Magellan? primary host. You're the primary host. You go ahead and talk about something. Talk <laughs> about something. I'll sit over here. Switch. I'll sit over here. No. Fine. Don't get upset. Arms crossed. Don't. All upset. do Pout like you a baby. Talk. You do talk. you ever see me do that? You just talk. Do you ever see me do that? Yes, all the time. When you start just going you over here, on and on. And on. I'm, I'm, I'm the primary host of this podcast. No, I do all the you. editing. Oh. That's you. Oh. Ferdinand Magellan. Do you even know who that I is? I know who Ferdinand is. Who was is. he? He was a traveler. He went and explored. He went all over the Asias. The Asias? Yes, he and? circumvented the globe. Where was he from? Uh, Italy. But you didn't know that, did you? Italy. Portuguese. Close. Born into a family of minor Portuguese nobility. 1480. Oh, okay. So he was before Now, wait Columbus. a minute. Did you just now look at... Look, You're look looking up. at Wikipedia. I'm looking at Wikipedia. So what else wait, do you need in life? So wait, wait, wait. You just don't asked, you wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't no, make no, me cut no, your no. mic. You just now asked and Jerry if he knew the mic this. in one. Yes. And Three, like a couple of seconds two. ago, you also didn't know that. And one. I'm reading it. Yeah, which is weird because you asked him an obvious question that he didn't know. I just asked know- him a question. I didn't say, hey, Jerry, I know the answer to this. Do you know it? And if you don't, you're dumb. You, I didn't yeah, say that. Hey, you, guys, you, you, hey I just, guys, calm down. I just said to ask him a question. Here. We just want to have hey, fun. forget you. <laughs> <laughs> forget you. <laughs> All right, here's a question for you. Magellan. The Americas. What are about named them? after whom? Vespucci Amerigo. Good job. It's Amerigo Vespucci. Okay, whatever. I always do last name first because yeah. I'm with the Social Security Company. Correct. So, could you imagine somebody <laughs> else right. discovering the Americas and they're like, what should we call this place? And this other guy just somewhere else goes, hey, let's name this place after me. They just named it after him, his last name. Marigo. After his first name. Okay. So then it'd be like your name being Jericho. 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 Be Jericho. Welcome to Jericho. Yeah. There you go. Works. No. No. There was a Jericho. There was. In old that was Bible a great times. TV show. 
Oh, okay, yeah. I with, never watched uh, that. With discount. Um, no, he's that, not a discount. He was a... Uh, no, don't you say discount Johnny Depp. He was a discount no. Johnny Depp. He was a discount Johnny Depp. No, he's in name. He's in Riverdale. You know where Johnny, Dale's know at, Johnny, De- uh, Johnny Depp's at now? I don't know where Riverdale's yeah. at. I Who? don't know where Johnny Depp's at either. He was in the Chocolate Factory years back, and that was that's when he lost well, his mind. He's acting like crazy these days. <laughs> well, he's cashing those checks from all those pirate movies he made. Uh, what's that guy's name? I don't know. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. No, he's from creepy. What? No, no, he was he's good. Creepy. He was in the Scream. He's creepy. He's now in Riverdale. He's creepy. No, he's he creepy. is a good actor. I can pick out a creep from a mile away. Okay, what do you see when you see in the mirror? Why are you trying? Why are you so? Why are you hating? <laughs> why am I what? Look, it, it, first off, I'd like to apologize to all of our listeners. Oh, don't you apologize on <laughs> because our behalf? If you're just now listening, you've probably realized that Gombe is very harsh, oh, very demanding, oh. <laughs> and at times overly critical. How dare you, Skeet Ulrich? I oh Skeet 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 Skeet. <laughs> That's Skeet Ulrich. I as a podcaster. All right, I'm going to turn off your mic now. I'm all about making sure everybody feels good about themselves, and here you That's are good. throwing hate my way. Didn't well, you like insulting me? Didn't it wasn't it? Cut his mind. The, 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 the last podcast. He's, he's babbling. He's babbling. Just, just World War Three. Look, yes. look, look. All right, cartographers, let's discuss it. Go. We're not going to banter. I thought we just did. I always no. enjoy our banter. Do you? Yes. All right. Well, let's it, banter. Skeet not... Ulrich. What else has he been in? Uh, His best movie, Scream, obviously. I have never watched Scream. I don't you watch Scream movies. You have never watched Scream. I don't watch Scream movies. Uh, I think they're cheap. It is, but it was a trendsetter. Like, it kind of like... I don't watch it Scream It was movies. very meta, and that's why people liked it, because it was like, it knew what it was, much like the Fast and Furious movies. It knows what it is. It's silly. It's silly fun, and you enjoy the ride. The last scary movie I watched... You like scary movies? ...was... Um, Quiet Place. It wasn't really scary. That, here, wait, wait, wait. It wasn't scary. Here we go. No. Don't make me cut your mic again. No, it You're wasn't in a scary. quiet place right Enrique. now, Enrique. It your wasn't mic scary. And you know it wasn't scary. It was suspenseful. Hey, he's over there talking. Oh the last scary movie I watched, I can't suspenseful remember. Suspenseful can equal scary if it's a long... It was uh, uh, Contagion? <laughs> I'm a germaphobe. I don't like bugs everywhere. Is that... I don't guess Fall I know mites. Contagion. With, with uh, Matt Damon? Is that the one where they like were looking for patient zero? Was like said a thousand times, patient zero, yes. patient zero. They hardly ever. Found Does it have her. Sandy Newton in it? It had uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, okay, yes, and her head. Yes, they cut open <laughs> to find out that she had the bat monkey virus. Okay, I think I've only seen that once. I saw it when it was called an outbreak. Well, as a well, sometimes they redo movies starring the monkey from Friends. Yes, from Prince? Friends. 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 Yes, there's a monkey from Friends. Are you kidding me? I haven't watched Friends hardly because I was into quality television at the time. Oh my god! Not this cheap. You're such a. You just whatever. You think everything you do is so superior? No, I'm all about no. inclusiveness no, now. That, oh, well, then about, why don't you like Friends? Well, I love. Friends. You know, Friends is like between it and Seinfeld, they are the most sought after shows. Mm-hmm. HBO just paid. I want to say five hundred million, if not more, to have friends. How do you on HBO Max? You know what? Everybody I think it was knows, more. as I know, true friends cost you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes. To I always heard pick, you can pick your friends. No, you can pick your nose. But if you pick a friend that'll pick your nose, you picked a true friend. No, no. If you have, to, I don't even know how to come back from that yeah, because that's fact. If you want a friend, would you pick my nose if, if I needed friend, to be picked? You've got to be a friend. That's what my grandma always said. As uh, TLC once said, you got to have friends. Who was TLC? Lefty, low, left, left eye Lopez. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't go chasing waterfalls that time. Or Jason. Or any other type of weird. Geographical structures. Or water. There are brain eating amoebas in the water. Oh, okay. Oh, you mentioned this the other day and I didn't correct you. I don't want to go swimming in lakes. This is because I went ponds. kayaking the other day. You went kayaking and I got a and I've seen on the news where several people 
this summer have died of infectious brain eating amoebas. Okay. Can I, I don't want that. Can I can I bring something up for you? Okay. All right, fast. Okay. Since I believe, and like I said on our last podcast, sometimes my facts are a little off. But when it comes to medical sometimes, stuff, mostly. when it comes to medical stuff, I'm okay, spot on. Okay. I'll I believe since 2009, according to the CC, CDC, get ready for this, 150 people have died of amoebas. Really? Like that's a lot. That's too many. That's okay. 150 too many. Okay, so 150 people have died from amoebas, say 10 years. Uh, 50,000 people die on the road every day. So chances are you're going to die driving your truck than you are going to die from a flesh brain eating amoeba. But that is like a terrible way to die No, to it's me. not. You have a fever, you go to sleep. Right? Come on. I don't know. It's encephalopathy. Your brain swells. I'm not discounting it as being a terrible way to die, of course. What I'm just saying is that you are just making up. You're, you're just you're, you. Your fear is not f- well founded. What fears are well founded? Many fears That's are why well fears. founded. No, no. I have a fear of heights. That's that's no. A f- well founded. No, there's a difference between a fear and a phobia. A phobia is a something what? of something that's not necessarily something of something. Yes, it's a fear of something that's not well necessarily. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well said. Something that you fear that's not necessarily legit, like you have a fear of spiders. How many people get killed Ooh, by spiders? Oh, I hate spiders. But you don't I will take a spider them. over a snake. I have oh. spider phobia. Okay, whatever. Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia. That's what it's called. Yes. <laughs> Why can't they Starring just call John it? John Goodman. Why don't they remake that movie? Now, that's a good movie to remake. No. It wasn't a super oh. mega hit. It wasn't like a cult classic. It was a cult classic. But it would still be good to remake today. No. It's just spiders. Yes. It's just spiders. It would be more creepy. The effects would be more Everybody realistic. Everybody thinks now that they get bit by spiders, they have powers. You, you Thanks, don't know. Spider-Man. You don't know what you're going to end up I'm with. I'm just saying is that a lot of the fears that we have today are unfounded and statistically not that likely. Just like getting bitten by a shark. Yeah. yeah it's, well, just, it's just not going to happen. But you know what? When you say that, and it happens to you. No, it doesn't happen to me. I'm not by the ocean. I'm like... 10 hours from the ocean. I'll be all right. What do you think now? Like a Sharknado, maybe. What do you think when a Sharknado comes up? I'm just saying, a lot of your fears. You need to go go swimming. You're not going to get an amoeba. I don't know that. I'm not going. These waters are all tepid around here. your nose closed. It's been 100 degrees in Texas for three months now. That's how they do. They get up into your nose. I know. They said it goes through your nose. Goes through your mucous membrane. Gets on your olfactory nerve. I'm not going to do it. Straight up across your blood brain membrane. The next thing you know, it's eating on your palms. That terrifies me. No, you're all right. Don't worry about it. You don't. Some know. of your greatest ideas might come from a flesh eating amoeba. You no. might have a parasite already. I wish I had a tapeworm. Mm. I'd be skinny. Yeah, you've been losing a lot of weight. I'm proud of you. Have I? You have. Thanks. This keto thing's been going great. Well, it's mostly uh, tequila. And salad. And salad. You, should write, you should write a book. The tequila and salad. <laughs> you can, if you don't like salad, just drink, drink some tequila. tequila. You'll Jerry be brought right. some tequila over. It's cheap tequila, um, but it's good tequila. I've been drinking it. It's pretty good. It's no Irish whiskey, but it's pretty good. No, no, it's not. But hey, beggars can't be choosy. Cartographers is a Hard merge. interesting game. Lakes are on maps. Speaking of maps. Makes me think of cartographers. <laughs> makes me think of Roland Wright's. I don't like Roland Wright. Me neither. I think it is a fad that's been going around here in the board well, game lots industry. Of love it. I the don't past think. year, I find them all okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I find that most of them go on too long. Uh, yeah. Okay. This go is going to be a quick review. Right. <laughs> it's uh, coming, I'm hitting all the so, spots. So so far, we have played uh, Imperial Settlers, Roland Wright, Cartographer. Um, welcome, welcome to. to what was the other one that we played? I've got Castles of Castles Burgundy. Of Burgundy. Um, uh, there was another one. What's not coming to mind? It seems like there was another one that was a rolling ride that was very boring. I don't know. There's just been so many of them. In Cartographers, Cartographers is a role player game that, if you're familiar with role player, the people who made this, they've brought out several games that are in the role player universe. In Cartographers, you're just that. You are a cartographer. You have your own little sheet of paper. You're going out. Exp- cartographer is a person that makes maps. You're making a map. You have certain in-game scoring or 
or round scoring cards that are out that are different, adds a lot of variety in the game, which are, we won't get into that in terms of what you score, but basically it's similar to you know, score your biggest section of these homes or villages or score points if you have this type of terrain charted by these mountains. On your little map, when a player flips over a card, you have several options to draw these shapes and pick what terrain. You draw those shapes and those terrains onto your uh, little map. All the players do this. The one thing that this game changes up is that in t- multiple player games, you can swap maps when you get ambushed, which are the little creatures that come out and attack you, and you draw on your other players' maps. You draw these little bad spots. You kind of mess them around. It has some player interaction, so to speak. Uh, that's what is different about cartographers in some comparison. Built-in play- player interaction. It's built-in, yes. But at the same time, it serves its purpose. Uh, at the end of the game, after four rounds, you add up your score of if you spring, mean, spring, summer, winter, fall. Winter. Oh, fall I can't winter. even remember the summers. The four seasons. The four seasons. My girl. Does it? My girl. Now, no, it's not the four seasons. you know, in December, it's Temptations. It's not. Isn't the Four Seasons a band? Or yeah. Is it just a hotel? No, the Four Seasons. That's that's uh that's Ricky Fallon. Oh. Richie Valens? Yeah, it's Richie Valens. It's Four Seasons. <laughs> La Bamba, Richie Valens. Oh, I'm sorry. You got me thinking. Of, uh, you got. Oh no. Sorry about that. This is why you shouldn't listen to me. That's uh, La I Bamba. I really. Don't. I'm talking about the guy that is uh, the guy saying Sherry. Sherry had a high pitched voice. Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley. Jersey Girls. I get those mixed oh. up every time. Jersey oh. Girls. In 1960. Jersey Boys. Jersey Boys. The is like band my favorite known as the Four Lovers evolved into the Four Seasons with Frankie Valley. There you go. Why are we talking oh, about what that? Because we were talking you know? about the four seasons. In Australia, it's warm in December. <laughs> Let that wrap Captain wrap up. that around your brain. It's on the other side of the world. I know, but their seasons are different. It's not winter there. In December. Yeah. Yeah. Girls, they don't cry. They don't cry. Why did you just That's the four randomly seasons. start That is the four seasons. It's the four seasons, we're talking which is also about things you don't cartographers. Yes. Oh, excellent. So after four seasons or four rounds, the game is over and you total up your score. Cartographers was an interesting game. I think personally, I <laughs> like Welcome 2 a little bit better. I think Welcome 2 has a push your luck aspect to it that I enjoy of, you know, putting out your... Um, your homes in a certain order, you kind of pushing your luck as to the numbers on them, like having them in a subsequent row. I liked cartographers quite a bit as far as a roll and write. I liked the polyomino thing and the basic the Tetris thing, making polyomino. these things all fit together. Oh. And then you get points based on the scoring cards that are out there. There's scoring cards for each season you're going to score and they vary quite a bit. So and they say they're going to have two scoring factors on them for each season, mm-hmm. A and B, C and D, B and C, A and D, whatever. You're going to score two different things each season, plus this other factor that is out there, another scoring factor. So you got several different ways to score. You can go by them. You can prepare ahead, which is what I did. Y'all were doing y'all's connect your mountains range to a mountain I range in A, me. and I was looking ahead, and I said, I want to do this. I'm going to go water around all the mountains, and I ended up winning. I didn't expect to win, but I won. But it's a good game. It went on too long for what it is. It's a rolling right. It's good, but it's not that good. It's just, to me, it falls a lot. Even the Imperial Settlers rolling right, I liked it a little bit. It's it was terrible. interesting. You didn't say it was terrible when we played it. Uh, uh, no. You've forgotten it. No. No. When we played it, you're like, it's okay. It's okay, but it's not great. No, it's not. I like cartographers better than that. But much like Imperial Settlers rolling right, it went on too long. Roll All on. these rolling rights go on too long. The only one that is apropos to its game is Welcome To. Apropos. I like Welcome To probably the best out of all of them. I think so. I believe that if I was going to recommend one, of course, I'd recommend Welcome To, but I can't wait till the industry gets past rolling rides. This is such a money grab thing. You don't know. Yes, it is. It might go on forever. No, no, no. I'm, I can't wait because it'll happen. This One of these days, we'll look back and rolling rides will be the rolling moves of the 90s 
Rolling rights are, to me, a cop-out in terms of not only what board games are supposed to be, but the experience of board gaming. And here, here's why. Here's why. Why is it that we, we've lopped board games in with so many things? Like miniature wargaming and various other games that are just associated with board gaming. Like living card games. Like Magic the Gathering and these other things of this nature. All get lopped into board gaming. I don't think that Roland Rights are board games. I know that's brave and bold to say. But I don't feel like that there's something that is particularly... When I play a roll and write, it does not feel the same as when I am playing an actual game that has components in the board that doesn't require me writing on them. They are a different feel. They feel more like, like almost they're very mathy. A lot of them are because I mean it's like you're you're, you're basically playing an Excel spreadsheet. You're playing something that you're writing on. You're playing something like that's that. it, there's just something about. Roll and rights that take me out of, out of the moment of They're, playing like a board game. Like I can play abstract games, but still like appreciate the theme. But there is zero theme to any roll and write I've played. Not theme, but yeah, I, I guess thematic elements. I think cartographer is probably the most themed. I mean, you're drawing because a map, you're drawing a so. map. I mean, it's like somebody took the most basic, and and I will say, cartographers, if you're into rolling rides, if you've enjoyed rolling rides, by all means, you need to run out and get cartographers. If you haven't already, get welcome to. Uh, but for those that really like just board games, that I think that's more of our the tune we like. Yeah, I'm done buying rolling rides. I'm not going to buy anymore. I'm done with them. I do not enjoy them. I have no want to play them again. We have bought several, hoping that we enjoy we, and we enjoy them. Okay, but like, I would rather play something else. Yeah, yeah. And I just don't think that you you don't want to keep throwing your money down a hole of these designs because basically you're just supporting the industry in making more of them. Like, I would I would rather play if we're going to play something along these lines. Along a genre specific thing, I would rather go to like an unlock game or a filler game of some sort. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, unlock playing, games can be, well, they're an hour, I guess. You're playing, but, you're playing something that's a little more abstract from actual. There's a board, there's resources. You, you're more common board games. Uh, I think it's interesting that as people play board games, you tend to find what your, what your tastes are. Even though at times you deny yourself that. Like you think you want to like a certain type of game. I remember when we first got together and we were playing board games all the time, we bought Dungeon Crawls. Yes. Level 7. and Omega Protocol. Omega Pro- all, all these different things that we were all about playing. I remember the Alien vs. Predators. We were just trying to find a Minis. Get- that had minis and you're moving and we could not find one didn't feel it we just didn't feel it until we finally realized there's but some people do there's nothing wrong with these there's games. people that love rolling rights it's us we don't like rolling we rights. don't like rolling we rights. don't like dungeon crawls we don't like pick up and deliver we for the are most part. very euro oriented you're or euro or there's even some very specific ameritrash games that we do enjoy that yeah. tend to be a little more I do think we I like lean, social deduction games. I like social deduction games. I think we lean towards more of some of the meaner stuff too on the Ameritrash side. I like do what? think, well, you know, like a lot of people don't like the. I know Godfather's kind of Euro, but it's kind yeah. of a meme for Euro. A lot of people don't enjoy the more expansive civilization games. For instance, we talked about Gentees on our last uh, podcast. I don't think Gentees is a civilization game. Uh, stay tuned for our review of Tapestry. By the way, oh yeah, no. oh, got don't ships. spoil anything uh, about tapestry. Oh, which makes me think of uh, when I start thinking of tapestry, it makes me think of side, which makes me think of many years ago. Do you realize we passed our anniversary and you didn't say anything? How dare you? Whoa, what well, anniversary of what? Of this podcast, what? September the twenty first. Okay. Was the f- uh, first date that the board game snobs was published? Aww. I was looking up the uh, our old info. So we've been doing. I this. sent you flowers. You didn't you get didn't them. You did give me a f- two years. We've been doing this podcast for two years. This is like our seventy first, seventy second, somewhere. This will be seventy one ish, two, two, something like that. 
podcast. We've been doing this for two years. And look at us now. Man, we're we showered have. with adulation and money <laughs> and praise and Win all fame. The awards. Literally hundreds of people we listen to this podcast. We can barely walk through our living room without people I was like... in CVS the other day and people were like, aren't you Jerry? Aren't you Jerry? Yeah. yeah. You're always wrong on nearly everything you say. <laughs> Oh, uh, your facts are wrong. wrong. Oh, my Seven facts are wrong. <laughs> I think we need Look, to there's show. Enrique. He's still not wearing sleeves. Yeah. He he's no. allergic to kidneys. Sleeves. And I'm wearing His shorts kidneys. while it's like he's got 30 one degrees kidney. below. And I don't know what else. Yo, yeah, you didn't want to acknowledge what? our anniversary. stopping. You didn't end I no. acknowledge it. I sent you flowers. You didn't send I anything. That. You didn't even remember. Dozen roses. You doesn't remember. 18 wheels and yeah. a dozen roses. I don't know your country music. Cartographers is decent. Moving on. Let's get off of cartographers. I'm Lorenzo. So over, I'm so over Lorenzo. cartographers. Lorenzo Il Mac. <laughs> El- Wait, You're not adding content when you just sing song what he's already says said. The man who sings all the time. And Enrique, I'm not sing. I'm singing now, sing song. <laughs> so when Jerry says, wait, 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 wait no. I'm wait. all about inclusiveness. How dare you yell at Enrique <laughs> when Jerry says Lorenzo and you just Lorenzo. go Lorenzo? He's echoing. It's not adding he's, anything. He is. He's adding some flair, some right, je ne sais quoi to our okay, podcast. Go. People go love you. Enrique. Yeah, Go. strangely enough, Hashtag even though I just like it. never talk like eighty percent. Actually, no, ninety-five percent of the time. You, if you we, went from eighty to ninety-five percent. I, I was yes, miscalculating. Fifteen percent. We're going to start a Patreon calculate for Enrique that. only. <laughs> just, just helping Enrique get another kidney. So, uh, Lorenzo, I, no, no, House I of have Renaissance. a kidney. It's just Stop. like Stop. like stuck together. Well, well we need to get Wait, that kidney. Both of them. They're, yes. They form a horseshoe. They How many times do we have they heart merged? Heart <laughs> merged together in utero, and now he has a horseshoe shape. They knew what was going. They knew you were going to be on a podcast that was like all into heart merging. And, and like, they thought, "What did they get a load of me? Higher functioning uh, renal. We're going to filter at a higher rate." <laughs> We are the kidneys of the podcast. God kidneys. What do kidneys do? They filter, right? Uh, yes, they do. That's it? No, they, a lot of them have issues with your blood pressure. They control a lot of your blood really? pressure. Really? Yes. My and kidneys that, must be good because like, I have good blood pressure, have despite my size blood pressure. and orientation. And also your lungs have a little bit to do with your blood pressure as well. What else has to do with uh, blood, heart? Oh well, yes, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I, I I would hope so. The amount of Just blood in my yes, veins, the amount of blood in your veins, and how hard. What you affects heart? blood pressure? Uh, your baroreceptors in your kidneys and wait, wait, your salt. Well, the first thing you said, the receptors, baroreceptors, your heart. B- spell that. Bar- what? Baro what? B a r o baro receptors. Baro receptors. Yes. Huh. Google that to make sure. Baro. I'll let receptors. you look that up. You can I, look I that up. You can, can Google that, that later without like just asking like fifty times. So but that's barrel receptors. You don't, you don't Where are they at? Where are your barrel receptors? In your barrows. <laughs> <laughs> no. the, the barrows of my soul. Yes, the barrows yeah. of your soul. Do you not know? The, I think You're the doctor of this kidneys. group. I think that. Well, first off, oh I'm my very god, tired. If you don't know don't where know. the barrows are. I am. Yeah. Uh, Why are you tired? Uh, like Jerry? the barrowers. <laughs> they're like deep. They're down deep. Down deep. Trust me, okay. deep next to your kidneys. So my kidneys. What else? Uh, you need your lungs. Your lungs. They, they include blood pressure. Yes, that's where your how why because your body converts angiotensin one to angiotensin two in your lungs, and that's why if you take an ACE inhibitor, an angiotensin blocker works in your an lungs. an ACE inhibitor. Yes, I've seen that science. Before. Yes, it makes you call for. I need to go to Underwater Cities, the laboratory, and make some science so I can understand this. Yes, that's what, how that works. Let us make some science. And if you're getting your health I'm giddy right now. From I'm giddy with knowledge. knowledge. You are giddy with knowledge. El <laughs> uh, Magnifico. Il. Il? Wrong. No, Il. Il Magnifico. No, this is, this is this in sick. Spanish. El He's magnifico. down with the sickness. Il. <laughs> Magnifico. It's ill. Magnifico. No, the magnificent illness that is Lorenzo. We Lorenzo. love Lorenzo. Nice, nice merch. Uh, we uh, recently bought its expansion. So this is a thing. I won't talk about that expansion. Houses of Renaissance. Houses of Renaissance. Houses of Renaissance. Uh, House, House of Renaissance. We, you've probably, if you've listened to this podcast before, heard us talk about 
Lorenzo El Magnifico and how much we love it as a Euro game. Cranio, come on, games. It's by some of our favorite designers. Uh, so Virginia. We heard so much about this expansion and people crowing about it. I really am not that impressed with this expansion. It was not. It's okay. It only it, added, what, another tower? You know I'll what? play with it. It didn't affect me enough to care about it. You can bid on starting resources. I, I could care less about that, to be honest. You could get... Uh, when you bid on those resources, it would give you a variable player power. Which Jerry, you know how we feel about that. Jerry, all his did was extend his to uh, the houses of the House of Blues. Yeah, the, the House, House of, of Blue Blues. cards. Blue cards. Blue when was... I bought a blue card, I got a bonus. And, and that and is you could have went up to eight instead of six. That is a neat little thing. But mine at the was, same time, it's just not. Mine was, I could. Now, mine was beneficial, I guess, more than yours, perhaps. Because every time I bought a green card, I could run my, it ran my greens automatically. Yes. Ran your greens. It ran my greens, and I had wood out the wazoo. And then, <laughs> you did have woods did. everywhere. And then I had like one that I could conv- convert a military to cash yes. or coin. I-, I thought that part was okay. I mean, it benefited me. My personal uh, very player power benefited me. And I don't know whether it helped me win the game or not, but. I had plenty of resources for most of the game. The only thing I didn't have enough of was money, but like that's not part of my resource. So when Lorenzo, which I have, still feels like we've talked about Lorenzo so much, we've talked about. I don't want to beat into ground. But the thing that I want to focus on is this thing about expansions in the base game. Let's and I've that. often said that a good game does not require expansions. I'm looking at you, Terraforming Mars. Yes, there are some games that have issues with them that the expansion will come out and fix. Right. For instance, Eclipse. Star Wars Rebellion. Mm. Eclipse. Both of them had some issues. I that have yet to play fixed. Rebellion. You've played Rebellion. You just haven't well, played with the expansion. with the expansion. The expansion fixes the combat cards. It greatly makes it much more fluid. They, they recognize what was wrong with the game. They streamlined it. Perfect. Mm. But the overall game itself feels the same. Lorenzo doesn't add enough. No, like, like this is one of those. I was really expecting something different and something that mm-hmm. added. The game felt the same. It felt the same, and which well, is a good thing to me. I, we love Lorenzo, but at the same time, it's a bad thing. It's like we bought this expansion hoping would maybe add a little bit of. It added another tower we could buy from. Jerry, I don't know that you ever bought from that tower. I know. I, we, I bought from it at least twice. I know of. I don't know. I thought you bought it multiple times. I did. Maybe I three did. times. What is multiple? Is twice multiple? I, I don't know. Like, um, like I bought from at least two I know of. Mm. But it gave us another tower to buy from. The variable player powers, the starting resources. Other than that, the game felt the same. It was very samey. And I, I, I just hate it when a game... I found it unnecessary. I, I, I hate it when a game brings up a expansion that really feels like it's almost like a money grab. Like, it doesn't really add much to the game. This whole thing of, oh, you can play with five players now, or, oh, you can add, you know, add yes. something else tacked onto the game. Like, Orleans has an expansion, literally, I think, just adds okay. another oh, player. You, you've got every expansion for Orleans, I and love you it. know how I, I hate it. Orleans, and you don't, you don't love Orleans. hate it. You don't. You start out loving that game. I did. I can change my mind. Why? Because I am a person, and people change their minds, Orleans and I change. Orleans is a quality game. That I want to play with all the stuff I've bought for it. You here's here's another thing. I've bought here's all the stuff thing. for it. You I you can need feel my blood like pressure it. rising. I need to like this here's game why because I've this bought is a what but this of stuff for yes it. this is why Gobby likes Orleans because he keeps buying expansions for it and never playing the game. And the money he keeps spending and upgrading it and buying it. Game keep chits. New or- Orleans is Gobby's terraforming Mars. <laughs> is I. No, it's a good no, game. No, you did not. It's you a good back game. In. That's not a it's good a game. It's a good game, and Orleans now it has quality components because I've bought them all, <laughs> <laughs> and I feel compelled to play it. Well, I can't help that you keep buying stuff for a game, a base game that was. I want to buy the solo version. You keep that so that I can play the it. Only time myself. you're going to get to play it because no, it's going it, to be good. I'm going to play it with other people. And they're going to like you it. Go ahead. I'm play you with go you. ahead, Mike. You, 
Go ahead. And uh, his wife. I want to uh-huh. exclude you and Enrique. I don't care. Bit. Has Enrique ever played it? He doesn't remember. He's a play. He don't remember. He didn't play. Remember playing Lorenzo? And actually, we have played. You the know where DLC you're at right now. Scythe, though. That's the thing. The though. DLC. The DLC. That's a the game. Yeah, that's sorry. a game I'm, for you right I'm there. Sorry. That's a game. The is, expansion. He's been playing Why Badlands all day. Be quiet. Wildlands. What's the name uh, of the game? Uh, he's Borderlands make, Three. You've been playing it. Yes. You like it? Let me yes. take my What do you like off. about it? Tell me what you like uh, about this game. Okay. It's all the rage now. Go. Right. This is your spot. Go. Yes, Borderlands Three. Which What's about? good about Borderlands Three, Enrique? All right. So first of all, it's the the voice actors. Voice actor. Oh God, this is a mistake. Yeah, it's yes, a mistake. you already not. made a mistake. It. It's a big mistake. No, it's not. No, no, no. You, no, you have you a chance. You already made a mistake. This is Enrique's Why? Corner. Literally, you put me in a spot of where I literally can't just speak about something. Rolling rights need to go away, as do excessive expansions. Thank you for getting yes. back on track. Just getting that out there right now. Stop. Rolling right now. Stop rolling right now. Stop this rolling. Stop rolling. Stop making rolling rights. Stop rolling. making ex- these filler expansions for games and just let people who have good ideas kind of flesh them out. And let's have some new games come out. That new have games? Some- like what? There is one game that I don't want to talk about right now. Why not? Because we don't have time to talk about it, but I want to talk about it another time. In the future? What? Rurik. Rurik. All right, everybody. This is tiresome. This is very tiresome. We are tired. I'm tired. tired. Why are you tired? Uh, I don't know. Send us an email at boardgamesnobs at gmail.com. This is Jerry, the primary host. We thank you for coming. Thank you for listening to the Board Game Snobs. Stay classy. I will end this podcast you when end I want this to. this podcast when you want. I got to get out of here. Where are you going? I've got things to do. Your wife doesn't know where you're at. No, she doesn't. You've belonged to her all day. How does that make you feel? She thinks I'm at Walmart. <laughs> Little does she know. No, he's not. Does that make you feel bad? No? Why, you know I don't have feelings. You?